Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Happy Vlogmas everyone. If you have been watching my Vlogmas content then thank you so much. It means a great deal that I know people are watching and enjoying my content and if you are new around here my name is Kirsten and I am a mum of one to my gorgeous daughter Madison which you'll probably have seen in some of my other videos or thumbnails so go and check those out. In today's Vlogmas video I'm going to be showing you what Madison is getting in her very first ever Christmas stocking. So this video is in collaboration with the beautiful Jessica from Otterly in Love. Jessica is a first time mum like myself. Her little boy Jacob is just a little bit older than Madison but they are quite close in age so Jessica and her family will be spending their first Christmas with Jacob. So be sure to go and check out Jessica's video once you have finished watching mine. I will leave the links for Jessica's video and channel down in my description box. So let's get into it. So let's start off with the stocking. So this is Madison's stocking. It's customized to say Madison and it's just red and white. I got this one off Hard to Find which was really, really good. It is quite good quality, quite thick. The hook is quite substantial the hook the loop is quite substantial and I also got customized ones for Ryan and I now that we are a mum and a dad we have mum and dad ones instead of the ones with our names so yes that's what all her stocking stuff is going in so Madison will only be ten and a half months old come Christmas Day so obviously she probably doesn't quite understand the whole concept of what is in her stocking so I tried to get a few things that are good for her and she can obviously still try and pull them out and I'm hoping that she will sort of see that her dad and I are doing that as well so she'll sort of get into it so these are the things that are in the stocking. So I'm going to start off with these flashcards. These flashcards were from Kmart. They were a couple of dollars. These are just the alphabet ones. And whilst the age range says three plus, we actually do a baby Jimbaroo class and we actually use flashcards. Even if it's just talking through the flashcards and obviously not using them the way that three-year-olds would use flashcards, I think these are going to be really good for her. Obviously, as she's starting to become verbal, I think these will be really great. Obviously because it is Christmas and you know it's a Christmas stocking I wanted to get something that was a little bit Christmassy so I got these little lift the flap books they're board books and I've got different Christmassy ones so this is Rudolph's Rainbow which is a Christmas one we've got Snowman Shapes and uh, Fairies Numbers and Santa's alphabet. So I got these from Kmart and I think they were I think a dollar each but yeah they're like board books so they're quite hard and sturdy for obviously Madison who is going through that phase where she like crunches everything so yeah they're really good. The next thing that I got for her stocking are these little boats. These are for the bath and they're stackable and they have numbers on them. I bought these from Kmart and I think they were a couple of dollars each so yeah, I just thought something a little bit fun for the bar. So another thing that is going in Madison's stocking this year is a toothbrush. So this is a Colgate Extra Soft for zero to two years. Madison has cut a few teeth and she is on her way to cutting a couple more. So I thought it was time to get her a toothbrush. She did have a toothbrush from before she cut her teeth, but that just sort of became a chew toy when she was cutting sort of her first two teeth. So I thought I would get her a new one. And I just got this little like blue one, mainly because they didn't have any pink ones ones but I sort of thought it didn't really matter what color toothbrush she had but yes I thought it was time she got herself a new toothbrush. Another thing that I got for her stocking is this little poppy toy where obviously it, the wheels move and it pops the little like beads that are inside. Um, this one is a turtle I think a turtle I'm gonna call it a turtle it's a Fisher Price toy and I think it was only like six dollars I think and I've taken it out of the box because the box is quite bulky and then obviously I want to be able to fit it in the stocking 
I also got Madison a t-shirt. This isn't a t-shirt to wear on Christmas day. It's just a cute t-shirt. I was at the shops and I saw it. I also bought her little cousin one and it's a Target t-shirt and it just has a little cat on the front of it. It's sort of like a peachy color. So yeah, just something cute to go in the stocking. Like I said, Madison's not really gonna understand the things that are in the stocking, but I did obviously wanna do her one as well because her dad and I obviously do Christmas stockings. I got a pack of bandana bibs from Big W. These are the dimples ones. I really like these, but they do sort of sporadically come out. So we do have quite a few designs, but I can't always get them. So when I saw these ones, and I think they're $5 for the pair, they just look really cute with outfits and things. So I grabbed a pair and I thought they can be a stocking stuffer. I think that would be good for her. So I got two sort of personalised items for Madison's Christmas stocking. Obviously Madison again isn't going to understand what these are for, but for me finding things that are personalised for Madison I get really excited just because the way that her name is spelled isn't the most common way. So Madison is spelled M-A-D-D-I-S-O-N and the most common way is just with one D. So when I see things that have two Ds I do like to pick them up. So the two things that I got were these stickers obviously madison's not old enough to be into stickers but i figured it was good you know if i need to name things that are hers and things like that i thought that was good and i think they were two dollars from like a price savers or red dot i think i'm not sure if red dot have them but red dot definitely do sell like the big packs of stickers like the 200 on stickers but i think i got this from a price savers and then i got this little fairy door and it says Madison's fairy lives here. I actually got this from Wild if you're in Australia. Uh, so, and they were marked down. So I think they were like seven dollars down to like three dollars. And I was like, that's kind of cute. I quite like that. And obviously, it's personalised with her name. So you know, all. That's obviously why I got it because I think it's really. I like things that are personalised, and I have a non-standard name. My name is Kirsten. So it's very rare for me to find something that has my name on it. So I usually have to like order it to be customized and things like that. So the last thing that is going in her stocking is quite small and I sort of ummed and art about whether I would put it in. And if you totally think I'm a bad mum because I'm putting this in, then leave a comment down below. I realize I'm just inviting hate, but the last thing I got her was a Santa chocolate. It is the tiniest chocolate. Like, this is my iPhone and this is the chocolate. It's tiny. Um, look, Madison doesn't eat chocolate by any stretch of the imagination. She's tried chocolate custard, is never here nor there about it. I just sort of thought it's a Chris it's Christmas and obviously Christmas stockings have chocolate in them a lot of the time. In saying that, Jess is probably won't have chocolate in it because she's a vegan, although she might have something vegan friendly. Anyway. I wanted to give her just a tiny little Santa chocolate. She'll probably just have a little suck or lick of it. She probably won't eat the whole thing, but I just sort of thought it was a bit Christmassy. So, so that's everything that's going in Madison's very first Christmas stocking. I know that like for a baby, some people think the whole idea of a Christmas stocking is very lost on her, but I still think it's important to obviously start a family tradition of Christmas stockings. And obviously next year she'll be a lot older. She'll be nearly two next year. She'll be able to understand. But I just put a few things in there that she can use. And yeah, I think that's, I think it's sweet. And obviously, like I said, um, Ryan and I obviously do Christmas stockings as well. So, you know, it's just nice to get her involved. So that's everything that's going in Madison's very first Christmas stocking. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Let me know down in the comments what you like to put in your stockings. If you do do stockings with your kids or families. And if you aren't already subscribed to my channel, I would love for you to stick around. So please hit the red subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my content. And yes, also, make sure you go and check out Jess's video for Jacob's stocking. Like I said, all the info will be in the description box down below. And as I'm doing Vlogmas, I am uploading every day up until the 25th of December, which is Christmas. So, yeah, that's essentially what I'm doing. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye, guys. Oh, Christmas tree. Oh, Christmas tree. You'll ever be unchanged